Maverick from Maverick PC Gaming here. Today I'm going to bring you guys a short video on um, the way that my desktop is set up. I'm using KDE and I had a gentleman who wrote to me and said that he liked my Kubuntu showcase and wanted to know what settings I'm using. And so right off the bat guys, um, I'm not using Kubuntu at the moment. I'm actually in Arch Linux, but the great thing about Linux distros is that um, I can do a demonstration regardless of which uh, distro I'm using because I'm using the same desktop environment in both distros. So whether it be Ubuntu, Arch, um, you know, any 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 distro that really can handle the KDE desktop, you can go ahead and uh, emulate it however you want. So this is Arch, like I said, um, the About system. Open it up, see, and this is a uh, the Plasma version 5.7. This update just came out. I want to say maybe a week ago or so, officially. So. Basically, guys, um, the way that my desktop is set up is uh, it's a two-panel setup, and the great thing about KDE is that you can put as many panels as you want, and it gives you a it gives you a, a couple of different choices. A default, which will come with like you know the uh, notification center and stuff, and an empty panel, which will just be blank, and you can put whatever you want on it. Um, so basically, the what I have, guys, is this top panel, which consists of the uh, system tray, uh, digital clock. And then that's really it. Over here, I have the uh, what's called the icons only task manager. So KDE by default comes with a task manager. Uh, in Windows, it would be known as you know what's on the taskbar, what's open. This is the icons only task manager. So if you wanted to use that one as opposed to the one that shows the icon and the name, you just add widgets to it. Okay, and then over here you would look down until you found the icons only task manager, or you could just search. And there it is. Then you would just go ahead and click that, and it'll appear on your uh, panel, whichever one you want. Okay, here I have an application launcher, which is the more traditional launcher type menu, and it just has everything that I have here. And then down here, I actually have uh, an application dashboard, where sometimes if I want to see, you know, more of what I got going on, um, I can do it all from here. It's more of a, of a Windows 8 type or a Unity type launcher. Um, these, uh, it didn't come like this, guys. So what you got to do is, if you want to change the icons, your start button, so per se, you just right-click it and go to the settings, application launcher settings or application dashboard settings, whatever. And then you click here and you pretty much choose whatever you want as far as a um, start button. Okay. Then down here, I have uh, what I did was I created an empty panel. And I individually drag these applications to the empty panel, and so then what happens is they act as their own individual widgets. And you can move them around and lock them as you like. Um, and the way that I got them to be off-centered this way is I just add a, a spacer on both sides. And that's pretty much it. You can adjust the space as wide or small as you want. And that way you can have your applications aligned in whatever way you want as far as you know if you want it to the left if you want it to the right what have you and last but finally not least um, I have over here the system load viewer which is, shows you um, what's going on with your CPU your RAM and your temperatures and finally a trash can widget this widget won't come by itself so you're gonna have to look for that one guys and it's just say add widgets and type in trash and see if there's a little number one by it because I already have it and that's it guys you can pretty much do this um, to your own liking if you want to use just one panel or two panels like I have it you can use three or four the great thing about KDE is that you can use as many panels as you like unlike Windows where you're stuck with the one taskbar and unless you're gonna use like some kind of third-party app you, um, you pretty much get what you get whereas with KDE um, and, and, and that's not even the case for a lot of other desktop environments. You can, you, you know, create as many panels as you want. Uh, finally, guys, the theme that I'm using is called OxyZone. And uh, it, that won't come by default with KDE. But if you get, go right here and say get new theme and then you type it. So Oxy. And then wait for it to uh, come up. OxyZone. And here it is right here. Um, it's saying that I don't have it installed, but I do. Uh, sometimes um, this can act a little funky as far as the way that uh, um, your, your system reads what themes you do and don't have. But, you know, other than that, no problems, guys. The cursor theme that, I'm, uh, that I have is called uh, Polar. 
that can be found also the same way going into your uh, settings uh, you gotta go into your settings and you go into your cursor theme and then get new theme and you search the same thing so um, that's pretty much it guys it's it's pretty straightforward once you start tinkering around with it but that's pretty much it there's not is no there's not a whole lot of magic to it um, like I said nobody you know is probably gonna like exactly what I have but you can use this as a uh, as a sort of foundation as to how you can customize your own you know, KDE environment guys I love it like I said um, you know I wish I could have this all the time on my Windows machine but it is what it is right but as always, thanks for watching, guys. This is Maverick from Maverick PC Gaming saying I'll see you out there.